On average, an adult has five to six litres of blood in their body. The oxygenated blood leaves the heart via the aorta and is transported to the rest of the body's arteries. The high pressure from the beating of the heart forces the blood along quickly, so arteries have tough elastic muscular walls to withstand this high pressure. Arteries connect to the venous system, or veins, via capillaries in the tissues. So the capillary network links the arterial circulation with the venous circulation. Blood flow in the capillaries, which are narrow, is slower to allow exchange of gases, nutrients and waste products. So what happens to the deoxygenated blood high in carbon dioxide? Well, it flows through the capillaries into the venous system and in the veins, it's returned to the heart. By now, the pressure pushing the blood along is much less. Also, a lot of blood is travelling against gravity as it flows upwards from the legs. To make the flow easier, the veins are much wider than arteries, offering less resistance. The veins also contain valves to prevent the backflow of blood, so blood only overflows in one direction. The blood is returned to the heart via the main vein, the vena cava.